<laughs> this Illawa FCA Game of the Week is brought to you by Ward's Body Shop. And Bank Orion. Thanks for supporting FCA. Woo! Five foot eight, 175 pounds, senior number 25, Jacob Edmund. And wide receiver, a 175 pounds, sophomore number 40, Drake Schultz. And a quarterback, a five foot 10, 100. There's a different twist to this game compared to the other umpteen million times the Rockridge Rockets and Orion Chargers met on a football field. This is the first time they've met in the postseason, so they're not thinking about the past at all. They're thinking about the future. The winner moves on to the next round. Come on. There is nothing lukewarm about the Rock Ridge offense. Luke Johnson on the first play from scrimmage. This is becoming a habit for him. 51 yards sprint to the zone, and the Rockets are quickly on top, 7 to nothing. Rock Ridge defense sets the tone early as well. Dakota McManus takes care of his man. Rock Ridge keeps the pressure on. Johnson on fourth down, 19 yards to Alex Harrison for another touchdown, and it's 14 nothing. Orion's defense tries to tighten. Carson Bloomberg with a big hit there, but Johnson continues. The Rockets surge. That is an 11-yard pickup to move the sticks again. And right after, Johnson again lugs the leather, this time 35-yard TD sprint, 245 yards rushing for him. It's 21-0 at the half. In the third quarter, Johnson keeps his legs churning, ripping off a 17-yard pickup. Orion never quits, though. That is Drake Schultz with the pick to stop the Rock Ridge drive. But this fourth quarter, Scoring run ices it for Rock Ridge. Johnson pitches to Dalton Weber. His speed takes him 37 yards to the house, extending the lead to 28-0. Now the Chargers have a spark left. Kyle Size sets the screen up nicely to Josh Ellison. He's in a full sprint right down Broadway, 45 yards to the zone, but it is the Rockets winning 28-7. They are into the quarterfinals for the first time since 1998. They have such a good offensive and defensive front, and we talked about the importance of, of coming out physical, and we may be undersized, but we got a lot of guys that get after it. So, uh, you know, the offensive and defensive line did a great job. Talk about that part where technique really fits in and where it be, almost becomes matter of fact at this point in the year that, uh, that that's just what they do. You know? Yeah, they do. They, they, you know, Coach Henry's with our offensive and defensive line and Coach Smith, and they do such a great job repping the little things every week. Um, uh, you know, you can get it to, to, you can get late in the season where you start getting into play and scheme mode, and it's important that those guys have kept up uh, kept up with that all, all year long. You know, they go back to the little things, they practice the small details, and they have a lot of guys just have such good technique. And even though they're outsized they're able to do so well up front because of the heart they have and the technique. How great was it to, to get that early lead? Oh yeah, that's huge. Um, you know, like I was talking about, it was very fortunate for us to win the toss. Uh, we were able to take the win and we knew if we could stop them going into the win that we'd have great field position and we were able to go go capitalize on that. That was big for us. We got something that those things can be such a big deal in a game, you know, such a, a game of such importance. Yeah, it can. Little things like that, you're right. Here in the playoffs, little, little things creep up if you if you know if you're not taking care of, of the me mentality side the little things uh, one turnover um, a holding call um, the wind you know certain things guys being able to capitalize on that li little thing special teams are huge in the playoffs well obviously it's a little bit new territory now my school hasn't been this far in a while too what's your message to the guys you know as, uh, as you return to the practice field this week uh, I you know I think we'll be excited it's it's it'll be it'll be you know practice and work as normal we'll try to keep that um, we won't do anything different as far, as far as practice we won't celebrate you know in during the week uh, we're going to come working because because we want to go further we're, we're we're excited and happy but but not satisfied we knew they were going to be big up front and we had to come out strong i think that's what we just did yeah scoring first is a big deal it gets in their heads and gets more confidence for us tell me too about you know execution wise you know obviously you know luke had a great game and everything too but you guys have so many weapons too and kind of today was his day really. oh yeah it's like last year we we had pretty much only two people that had got the ball every time, but this team we have seven people catching the ball and 
three people who can run the ball, and it's just it's good. Mm -hmm. Well, you guys are uh, among the final eight now, too. I mean, uh, that, that's great stuff, but I know you want more, too. Oh, it's a great feeling, but we love to go on to Champaign and win state. Mm -hmm. what, is, what is the key every time you guys step on the field, both offensively and defensively? Just play hard and play smart and have fun. Fast start. The, you know, we're a fast team. We like to get out. We like to run. Um, just starting like that, just like we did last week too on the first play, it just gives your team a whole nother, whole nother advantage. You know, it makes it easier on the defense, and it was just a great start. When the other team knows that there's so many weapons too, it's just like obviously you had a big game and everything too. But you know, uh, when they know somebody else is going to get a touch, they can go the distance too. I mean, that's a be tough. Absolutely, Dalton Weber was just a tank back in the backfield today. He was driving his feet all day. You know, one tackle couldn't really stop him, and then. Um, you know, credit the offensive line. They were huge today. I mean, I, some, some plays I wasn't getting touched until the safety, and that, that's just 100% credit to them. Mm -hmm. So they were really moving up front. Orion was an extremely good football team today. They were the most physical team up front that we've seen. Um, you know, it's just a great football team that we beat today. It was just a great game. They are big, you know, but you guys were really able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe physical wise. How big a deal is that for you guys uh, to be that physical team, to be that, that those teams that get to the ball on defense and stuff? Yes, Orion was extremely huge up front, probably the biggest we've seen. Uh, but that, you know, that's just credit to our offensive line. You know, they're, they're definitely undersized, but they're extremely physical. They're quick. We like to pull them, and, and they, just, they just did fantastic today. Well, among the final eight, I mean, that's, that's special stuff. That's uh, rare stuff for, uh, for a young guy. You know, how, how much do you embrace that and say uh, you're in pretty blessed territory? Yeah, I think it's been around 15-some years since uh, we've been in the top eight in the state, and uh, I think it's just great for our program. We've had some very good teams that, you know, probably should have gotten there but maybe got tripped up. But, you know, I, I, think, I think this is huge for our program to, to jumpstart. Mm -hmm. Tell me how meaningful it was after the game, after uh, things were over and uh, both teams gather uh, for a prayer. I, I thought that was really special. That was something really cool. Um, we'd heard they were going to do something like that. I, I wasn't sure about the details, but seeing both teams come together like that in both communities, I thought that was really awesome. Is that something that's enriching your life, you know, what FCA is uh, really becoming and really become at Rock Ridge? It, it actually, it really has become very big at Rock Ridge. Our numbers are growing each and every Wednesday morning at 730. And, and I think it's just something that it's something fun that the kids want to come to and they enjoy coming to it. And, uh, you know, Mrs. Clark does a great job leading us. Hey, we've got Fellowship of Christian Athletes at both Rock Ridge and Orion. Are you the one who's going to start FCA at your college, middle school, or high school? To find out how, you can contact me or check out our website at illawafca.org. With the FCA Game of the Week, I'm Dan Pearson.